With your Salem South Lion District Library card, you have access to a ton of downloadable and streamable content from the comfort of your own home. Today we'll be taking a look at Overdrive, which offers both ebooks and audiobooks. Uh, if you have an Apple or Android device, you'll be installing the Libby app, L-I-B-B-Y. The icon is this kind of crimson color here, and it has Libby's cute little face on it. Otherwise, if you have a Kindle, you'll be installing the Overdrive app, which is a blue icon with a white O in the middle. So I will be demonstrating from my computer, but the interface will be about the same when you're on your mobile app. So first go to your app store, install the appropriate app, either Libby for Android or Apple or Overdrive for Kindle. And um, let's first pretend that we are using an Android or an Apple device. So uh, when you first open Libby, she will try to get you connected with your account here. So um, she wants to know, do you have a library card? Why, yes, I do. And you can either search for your library, you can also have her try to guess where your library is um, based on your location. I am just going to search for a library. Now, um, I've already done this before, so she's smart and knows where I am, but, Otherwise, if you just have a blank screen here, you can start typing Salem South Lion. And right here at the top, Midwest Collaborative for Library Services, that's us, Salem South Lion District Library. I will click on that, click on it again. And um, she, if you aren't already logged in, she will ask you for your library card number and your PIN, you'll just enter those and you will be brought to this main page here. Um, at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side, you can toggle between library, which shows you the entire collection. Otherwise, uh, you can click on the right to view your shelf and that will show you what you have on loan or holds that you are um, that you have placed. So I am going to go back to the library's collection and up at the top here, I will click the magnifying glass because I am going, oops, you can see all these various uh, searches I've done, but I am going to look for a Cormoran Strike novel by Robert Galbraith. So I will search Cormoran Strike. And um, it shows me a whole bunch of options here. So as you'll notice, some of these have little earbuds underneath with a sign that says audio. These are the audio books. If it doesn't have that icon, then it's a regular ebook that you can view text on a screen. Um, so You'll see also that you have different options. Um, some of these just say borrow, so I can download them immediately. If it's um, you know, more of a recent bestseller, you might have to place a hold on it. So that's the option on these ones on the top row here, place hold. But I wanna start with something that I can download right now. So I will click on one of these ones that say borrow, and I'll begin with the first book, The Cuckoo's Calling. So you just click borrow, click borrow again, and I am borrowing The Cuckoo's Calling for 21 days. So you can go back and keep browsing, or if you want to start reading your book immediately, you can do that. I'll click Open Book. And um, it's a really easy to use interface. On my computer, I'll just kind of click on either side of the screen to advance the pages. But if you're on your mobile device, you're just going to be swiping around, and, and that makes it easy. Um, if you click near the top of your screen, let's see if I can get it to come up. Um, you have different options. So you might want to change, you know, the color. Sometimes it's a little easier on the eyes to do like a sepia tone. I kind of like the dark setting, especially if you're reading at night, it's a little easier on the eyes, black screen with a lighter text. Um, so you've got a few options there. You can also increase the size of your text, or if you want to itty bitty, you can do that too. Um, so yeah, you have various reading settings from within the app. So let's say I like it how it is now. I'm going to click done and um, continue reading. So let's exit out of this book. I'm just clicking at the top here under back and um, it's brought me back to the search screen that we were on before. So let's say I want to read the newest book, um, Lethal White. And um, that one's checked out right now, so I'm just going to place a hold. I think I'm going to do the audio for this. So I will click on this one with the earbuds and click place hold. Place hold again. 
and I'm placing a hold on the book. Um, the first time you place a hold, it will probably prompt you to enter an email address so that you can be reminded when the book actually comes in. And um, let's see, I'm going to go back to my shelf here. So um, another way that you could access this is just clicking from, from Libby here. If you click on the right-hand side under shelf, and you can see what you have on loan. I'll just click on loans. There's my cuckoo's calling. If I go back, I can also do holds and that will show me that soon I'll be able to get a copy of Lethal White. While you wait, you can even play a sample if you like. And um, you can tag things if you wanna keep track of stuff that you wanna read. Um, under loans, you can also manage loans. So. With eBooks, they're, um, you don't have to actually return them. They will just, the license will automatically expire. But um, let's say you want to return it early so somebody else can get their hands on it. You just click on manage loan here. And um, I'm gonna return early, return. And now the book is off my list and available for somebody else to check out. But like I said, it's not like there are any overdue fines. These licenses will just automatically expire at the end of the loan period. So you don't have to actually worry about returning things if you don't want to. So that's a little intro to Libby. Um, let me give you a little peek of what it looks like if you are signing in with a Kindle here. So the Overdrive app looks almost identical to Libby, except you don't have Libby at the bottom. Um, it looks kind of like this. Uh, you would just sign in. Um, it will have you search for your library. So, oopsies. So I'm going to do Salem Southline District Library, enter my card number, put in my PIN, sign in, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so same interface, basically, um, you can view your account over on the side here, your loans, your holds. Um, the cool thing, if you have multiple devices, um, is that because it's all drawing from the same collection, you can access the same content from your various devices. So for instance here, I placed the hold from Libby, um, but I can also view it from the overdrive side of things. So yep, I'm still in line for Lethal White. I don't have any loans right now because I just returned my cuckoo's calling, but um, there's the functionality is basically the same. There's a search button at the top here, so I can search Cormoran Strike again. Oops, Cormoran Strike. And um, same, same books here. They give you a little bar at the top that shows what's available immediately. If you want something you can download right now. Um, and just as another thing to note here, um, the icon is slightly different for audiobooks. You get a headphone icon. Otherwise, for ebooks, it's just a little book icon. So um, that's a brief overview of uh, Overdrive using both Libby and the Overdrive app. And um, happy downloading.